The highly anticipated and groundbreaking rom-com Bros is in theaters today. I'm sure you've seen previews for it. And I recently caught up with the stars Billy Eichner and Luke McFarlane at Assembly Rooftop in Center City, Philadelphia to talk about the film and its majority LGBTQ cast, their own dating struggles. And y'all know me, of course, I had to have just a little bit of fun with them too. Take a look. So what's happening? Didn't you guys have an announcement? Bros is the hilarious romantic comedy about an out and proud yet insecure museum curator played by Billy Eichner, who eventually falls in love with a macho lawyer played by Luke McFarland. I don't think I'm his type. He's like gay Tom Brady. I loved this movie. I thought it was hilarious. It was relatable. How do you think this movie is going to set the precedent in Hollywood moving forward? Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of pressure, you know. We didn't set out to write a historic movie or even a gay movie. We just said, let's write a hilarious movie, you know. I collaborated with Judd Apatow and Nick Stoller on it. We just focused on making a movie that would make people laugh out loud a lot, start to finish, and also move them and make them feel good. I think laughter is one of the things that universally brings people together, too. So for everybody, if you can laugh together, you can kind of make progress that way. The film features a majority LGBTQ cast including Bo and Yang, Miss Lawrence, Dot Marie Jones, and Jim Rash. It's Bobby Lieber coming to you from the future home of the LGBTQ Plus Museum. Everyone is really excited and totally getting along. In the movie, Bobby is trying to open an LGBTQ museum. Here we are in my great city of Philadelphia, yeah. where we are known for our eclectic museum scene. If you had to make an LGBTQ version of one of our historical museums, which would it be? So the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the Museum of the American Revolution, or the Mütter Museum, which has a collection of specimens from cysts to tumors to brains wow. and other body organs. I, I, I huh. just have to jump in because the yeah. American uh, Revolutionary Museum, I, I, I'm a Canadian, but I happen <laughs> to be a big fan of American history. And Von Steuben, who was one of the generals who came here during the American Revolution. So glad you brought up. A history Steuben. buff, oh yes. my gosh. Now, uh, a bit to the theater, Luke. <laughs> there is a sculpture of Von Steuben at the uh, Revolutionary War Museum, and he was an openly gay man. Really? In the oh. 1700s. So I take it your answer is the Museum of the American Revolution. Gay guys are so stupid. I know. But we've been smart enough to brand ourselves as being smart. It's our little secret. I want you two to spill the tea. Tell me, what was the worst date you've been on? Boy. Oh, God. I went out not too long ago with a guy who worked for a cannabis company, which I'm all for, but he showed up extremely high. <laughs> I think he was really nervous or something, and he got too too high before the date, and uh, it, it was not great. No second date. No, no second date. <laughs> there may be no second date for Billy, but perhaps there's room for love for Bros Part 2. Uh, Billy, no pressure, but pressure, uh, a sequel. All right, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm going to wrap my head around what that is. First, we need everyone to show up for yes. Bros September, on September 30th. 30th. Straight yeah. people, gay people. If you like to laugh, funny is funny. You're going to have a great time. And this movie is so funny. Again, Bros is in theaters today.